Hi, this is DS Yoxheimer, and this is another uh, edition of the Spectre. This is actually kind of a follow-up video to a video I did several years ago. And um, I am even wearing the same clothes I was wearing in that video, for some reason. I just thought it'd be a nice touch, and it might, you know, to the people that did watch that video, and um, threatening comments or otherwise, they might recognize it, that this is about that. And um, quite frankly, I really don't um, give a shit. It's just a video. We have free speech. We can say what we want. Um, when I was talking about my hometown of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, it's not that I hate the town. I just, there's a lot of people there that were, I'm just talking about my experiences and what I experienced personally. I'm not trying to talk, speak for you about your experience in Williamsport or wherever. You know, I mean, I, I don't really, you know, I was just talking about what was going on in my life and what had been going on throughout my life, okay? I didn't have such a good experience growing up in this town. And if I were to really talk about it here, because a lot of it's personal and stuff like that, a lot of it involves people, and some of it could have some legal ramifications if I did talk about it, perhaps. But I did. I've had a really, really rough time in my life, up until recently especially. Um, I, I, I faced abuse. I've, and when I stood up to people, and some of the people I will talk about because I really don't give a fuck, but, well, I have rights to talk about some people because they're sort of public people, but, um, what I found when I started, uh, one of the first jobs I had when I got, when I graduated college in Williamsport, I worked at the Community Arts Center, and the Community Arts Center, and this is kind of the germination of that video that I made a few years back, um, but at least I have the benefit of sobriety in this one, so I can hopefully be, there can be a little more clarity here. Um, I worked at the Community Arts Center, and it was an old theater called the Capitol Theater that was refurbished, and you were, uh, some of the uh, more well-to-do Williams Sportians donated, um, you know, a, 10 grand around that much and they became patrons so basically that gave them license to come down to the theater or call me on the phone when I worked in the box office and be abusive as all fuck um and that was one of the best jobs I ever had it really was it was clean you know it wasn't grimy or anything like that I just had to sort of put up with the verbal abuse end of it so eventually I left that job um, and I was left with the impression, it's not just an impression, it's the fucking truth. People, in a lot of areas in towns like this, I wasn't just talking about Williamsport. People in town who basically own it, have money, um, uh, and stuff like that, they, they act like they own it. They don't look at the fact that they were donating money to refurbish a theater for the community, because they call it the Community Arts Center. It was as they saw it, kind of an investment of sorts. And that means, you know, they come first, because that's the way rich people are in this country. They come first. And now I'm going to talk about some of the people in Williamsport who deserve to be served up a little bit of fucking, I don't know, what, what would be the appropriate term? To, well, anyway, let's just serve them up a little bit of a comeuppance. Um, certain people like the um, sides of Robert M. Sides, Carol Sides, who was a uh, delegate who uh, um, I guess uh, submitted a electoral college vote for Donald Trump because she's a Republican, and a woman who, as long as you're a Republican, she doesn't care if you rape people. Because Donald Trump has raped women. It's the truth. So, um, anyway, in court depositions, he raped his first wife, who was the mother of his children. But anyway, that's what these people are like. I mean, for fuck's sakes, Donald Trump was goddamn signing Bibles for these rubes. But all she cares about is money, power, and that's the type of person that she is. And as far as the rest of the community goes, this... Um, second encounter, because I can only, this is, this is the two big ones, there's plenty in between of a lot of the places I've worked 
in this town and just the absolute inhumane treatment that I've had to experience and witnessed other people experience in some of the places I worked in a town in the United States of America, which is really, at that time, shocked me. Um, one, there was a project, a public, whatever you want to call it, art project, it was more or less commercial, and there was an artist from State College who was sexually harassing and assaulting women in the community. Um, I went on his website, and I wrote all, you know, just basically bashed him and shit and, and stuff like that. And this guy told me personally, his name is Michael Pilato, I don't really get you gotta know who the fuck he is. He was the one who covered up the uh, Sandusky portrait in State College after it was found out he, he was raping children. So, um, anyway... He, uh, I was confronted about this once they found out it was me writing these things. And then and Michael Pilato said this to me. He told me, he told this to me when he was alone with me that William Sport is full of sluts. And that's, that's exactly who he is. That is his character. And after that, it was pretty much like when, Ka not like that, but it's a miniature kind of version of when Kathy Griffin held up the fake rubber head um, bloody head with a Donald with the Donald Trump rubber head or mask or whatever it was, um, and what kind of what she experienced. A lot of people really didn't side with me because they knew there were powerful people behind him, and he had a lot of advocates. He had sort of you know the wagons were circled. Local law enforcement liked him, and all these other people in the community liked him because he painted portraits and he did all this other. He had a lot of things to hide behind, including the documentary including a local uh, self-proclaimed documentary filmmaker, Carlos Saldivia, who immediately threw me under the bus. And I knew this guy before, before, and he was relatively friendly with me, and he seemed like an okay, interesting guy. But he completely looked the other way when it came to Michael Pilato's mistreatment of women. So, ergo, he is, he is to me, just as much of a misogynist and, um, and he knows he did that. He knows. Carlos Saldi. If you watch this video, Carlos, you know. You know. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyone associated with that mural and acquiesced Michael Pilato's behavior at that time should be fucking ashamed of themselves. And that's kind of in part, and I didn't talk about that in the video from a couple years ago. That's in part why I did talk about that stuff because I was taught that that was wrong because I had good parents and I was taught that, that was wrong growing up in school that you don't have permission to make sexual advances on someone without their permission but apparently nobody told Michael Pilato that well he knows that he does know that he just doesn't give a shit because he's a fucking sociopath and as far as you go, Carlos, as far as Carlos Saldivia, as far as you go, I think you're just one sick fuck too. You, you, you are just, you are such a self-deluded, talentless hack. And um, I don't think you should avoid Williamsport, Pennsylvania, but I think you should avoid those individuals. And you know what? If you want to come after me, Mr. Pilato, and if you want to come after me, Saldivia, for saying these things, I fucking dare you. I'm not scared of you. I got the First Amendment backing me up, and I got people backing me up about those incidences. And this has been another edition of The Spectre. I'm D.S. Yoxheimer. Stay vigilant, folks.